Hi, I am Hannu Vahokoski. I want to inspire you to catch your own ingredients and make healthy, good, tasty food out of them. Sometimes it's good for camping and camping sites. Sometimes you can even make fancy candlelit dinners. For me, outdoors food is way of life. It's about respecting nature and always learning some new skills. And of course, discovering something new. Let's see what we have this time. This is Outdoors Food. Hi again. Today we are going to make something very typical Finnish. Moose burger. Moose is probably the most traditional game animal we have in Finland. It's been here long before the deer ever arrived. I googled a lot of recipes and I think I found the perfect combo. And I'm really excited uh, to see uh, what kind of a result will be about the lingonberry mayo that I'm about to make to go with it. I think a burger deserves always something as a side. So I'm gonna make healthy homemade country fries. You only need about 10 sliced potatoes, leave the skin on, put some olive oil, salt, uh, rosemary, uh, french fry seasoning, and then put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. And that's it. For the burger itself, I'm gonna make a mixture of moose meat, chili, onion, bacon, rosemary, and then rose pepper. You chop the onion, bacon, and chili into very small pieces. Add the meat and mix everything together. Many of the recipes say that I should use uh, some Dijon mustard, a couple of teaspoons, so I'm gonna put at least one. And it's very difficult for me to, to grill anything without a barbecue sauce, so I'm gonna just put a hint of that in there as well. I didn't mention salt in the beginning, but that's always needed when you cook something. We add the rosemary and the pepper in there. After the fries have been in the oven for 15-20 minutes, turn them over. I picked up some lingonberries and now I'm gonna mix them with the mayo. First smash them with a fork, then add mayo and mix it. I think it looks like dessert. I'm also going to slice the tomato and the pickles ready. I think I need to get a scale because this became way too much. Then you just mold it and a neat trick is to put a kind of a dimp into this. So in that way when it fries it becomes uh, even. You grill that foam for 8-9 minutes. Once you have turned them you put the cheddar cheese there to melt. I also like to uh, warm up the buns a little bit, so then they taste better. Once you're done with this, then you take the uh, bun, put the uh, meat on it, you put the uh, cucumbers, some lettuce, and tomato slice, close it, and you're done. This looks and smells so good. Ladies and gentlemen, the Moose Burger. Hmm, pretty good. So my Moose Burger turned out quite good. I really liked it. And the uh, lingonberry mayonnaise, that was a really nice twist. If I'm perfectly honest, I think I prefer the venison burger I made during the summer, but this was probably the very second best burger I've ever made. If you want to see more recipes, please subscribe the video or check my website. Uh, there will also be the about the moose hunt itself, how it took place. So until next time. Outdoors food.